Hey, so I'm bringing you my book review for the week. Um, I came across this book through my friend Carmen, who has a very eclectic library, and I'm always happy to read it. And um, I came across this book called Forgiving the Unforgivable, Overcoming the Big Bitter Legacy of Intimate Wounds by Beverly Flanagan. And as I've shared before here, um, I'm working through my own journey of forgiveness. And I have to admit, I'm one of those people who actually don't think forgiveness actually happens. I think that time just sort of eases the pain or dulls the memory. But there are a lot of people in my life that I respect their opinion who keep urging me to keep looking at the concept of forgiveness and how it works and how it can work in my own life. So when I saw this book, I figured it would be a good tool to sort of keep working at that. And so i got to tell you, I've been reading this book nonstop since I pick it up. It's like, uh, it, it really resonates with me. It feels like it's speaking to me directly. It's speaking to my own sort of experience that I have that put me on this journey to, to understand forgiveness and understand myself. Um, the book uh, by Ms. Flanagan is presented in an academic way. I guess, you know, she's a works at a university, so I guess she had to sound like she knew what the hell she was talking about. She's done a lot of research in forgiveness, but her writing style is very direct. It's very clear and straightforward. You don't feel weighed down by the text. It's not dense. Um, the concepts she's using are very clear to understand. And if you're one of those people who are truly trying to work through the concept of forgiveness, the examples she gives and the case studies that she gives will speak to you. You will find yourself in this text. I found myself like like uttering, mm-hmm, yeah, exactly, many times as I read this book. Um, she sets the book up in three major sections. Um, she talks about the anatomy of the unforgivable, unforgivable, in, in, unforgivable injury. She talks about the journey of forgiving, and then she actually gives you tools for forgiving. So that's, sometimes it feels really, the concept of forgiving feels really abstract, like, you should really forgive. And then they don't really tell you how. But Ms. Flanagan really works that out. She really sort of lays out the different angles that you come, can come at to try to forgive the unforgivable. Um, I, one of the sections I really liked about the book was naming what, when something happens to you that you feel is unforgivable, the level of grief you feel, the, the text really validates that. So sometimes you think maybe you're being extra or over the top. Or maybe your friends are like, all right, Shell, damn, enough is enough. But this book really speaks to that each person's injury is unique to them, that most people will not understand whatever hurts you're going through because maybe the thing that happened to you wouldn't push their button. But so it's your job to honor what's true about you. Um, I also like that she talks about when something, an injury happens, the unforgivable happens, that it really does tear something out of your life that you treasured, and it feels really hard to let that thing go, especially if um, it was somebody who was intimate, a, a spouse or a parent or a child or a best friend who caused the injury, and the hurt feels more devastating if it's somebody who's intimate, you know, one of your intimates. The other thing that sort of, and my friends have been trying to tell me this for, at this point, years, that forgiveness is not about the other person or the other situation. It, forgiveness is really for you. And I really didn't understand how that worked. Like, I didn't injure me. It was the other person who caused the strife in my life. And she really talks about when something really huge and devastating happens to you. You really are changed forever. You never really will go back to that version of yourself that you were. And you have to grieve that. But then you have to sort of get ready to let go of that part and move on to this part. And she talks that forgiveness really appears in your life when um, you recognize that you can dream again, you can have hope again, and you can trust again. And that's when, that's when forgiveness truly shows up. It's not that you can say, I forgive, fill in the blank for this thing you did to me. And um, so that feels like a really great gift for me. Like that puts me on a path of understanding better how to forgive and not just be left with the naked concept of forgiveness. So I think you guys should get this book. I, it was a nice surprise to stumble across this. And it really, again, really straightforward, not dense text, 
won't get you all stumbling around trying like what is she talking about it will speak to you so um, when you get a chance pick it up I got mine for free because I stole it I stole it from Carmen but uh, it looks like it costs like I don't know ten bucks ten bucks so um, I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday or had a good Wednesday and I'll talk to you guys later bye